Hey everybody, welcome to the last practice video of 2022. Yes. <laughs> and uh, this is not our regular official practice video that we're doing, but we did just want to take a few minutes and connect with you and wish you an incredibly merry, wonderful, awesome, spiritual, holy Christmas. Yes! <laughs> and uh, we hope that it's been a great season uh, for you, yeah. the Advent season. We've looked at all these different aspects of waiting for Jesus and looking forward to Jesus coming back mm -hmm. and all these things. Uh, but we hope it's really been a spiritually enriching and helpful time for you. Yeah. So we wanted to just give you a couple thoughts um, as you're going into the next few weeks. You know, um, as you come to the end of the year, it can be a flurry of activity and there can be a lot of things that are going on and a lot of plans. Um, but uh, we wanted to also remind you to be aware that we are living in a spiritual battle <laughs> and there are spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms right. that have set themselves against you That's and right. uh, want to do everything they can to steal your joy, yes. your hope, your peace and your love. And uh, they, they want to make this a stressful time for you. They want to make this a discouraging time for you. And they want to make this a busy time with you so that you don't uh, have the brain space to be able or the heart space to be able to wear, to be aware of the spiritual things going on. Right. You. So we have a scripture for you to yep. keep you anchored. And that is in Philippians where it says, no, um, no matter what happens. No matter what. It's Tracy's, the, the new, new Tracy version. <laughs> That's not what it says. It says, whatever happens, yeah. conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Right. And I think this is such an anchoring passage for me because it sort of summarizes um, what Paul is trying to tell them because he knows he's not going to be with them. Right. He knows, you know, I can't be there to encourage you. I can't be there to lift you up or to pump you up or whatever. Just know whatever happens, you can conduct yourself in a worthy, worth, a manner worthy of the gospel. Right. And we know that during this time where we are, um, put, you know, put together with extended family or maybe situations that are actually stressful, mm -hmm. new friends, new relatives, all kinds of things can happen. You can find yourself in a conversation that you just wish you could get out of and can't figure out how to. You can find yourself hearing things that actually rile you up inside and yep. make you want, you know, like them are fighting words. You know, you might that party, you might come out. Right. But we want to remind you that you have what it takes. You have everything that you need for yep. life and godliness and you have what it takes to be able to respond in a manner worthy of the gospel we don't want to get back after this sort of break and be reporting all the times that we blew up and we're the person that had to go back and apologize right us the disciple in the situation ended right. up being the one in the wrong having to go back and apologize so yeah. be prepared disciple you have everything that you need that's right Spend some time um, before you're going into these situations to pray through it and think through, okay, here's the possible things that could happen. And God, I want to invite you to walk with me as I'm going yeah. into it. And I want you to be with me as I'm having these conversations or as I'm in this situation. Help your spouse to do that. Help your kids to do that. Help your friends to do that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, let's, let's go kind of our spirit first into the, the the holiday activities over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, something that helps me, I just thought of this, is that sometimes it's more about just your energy walking into a situation, sure. your spirit. So if you can get that settled first, then it actually <laughs> makes things, um, it keeps things at bay. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't walk in in a defensive posture, if you walk in in an affirming, accepting posture, it can just change the dynamic of the room. Mm -hmm. Walking in, giving compliments, walking in, giving encouragement. Mm -hmm. Those things are ways to fight back against the spiritual battle um, before it even, you know, kind of begins. Right. You know. So we hope you have a great time with your families, with your friends, with whatever you're doing for the next few weeks. So um, speaking of what we're doing for the next few weeks, we just wanted to remind everybody, or in some cases, maybe tell you for the first time. <laughs> I've been hearing some uh, rumblings. reports, some rumblings that people aren't aware of uh, what we're doing for the next few weeks for our church services. So if so you missed aware. it, if you missed it, um, and maybe just share this, be sure that everybody in your small group knows what's going yes. on and your friends that are coming to church and that kind of thing. But um, because 
Sundays, uh, Christmas Day and New Year's Day are on Sundays. Um, we have all opted to not have our church service on Sundays, but rather free up that weekend um, so that you can have some great family time and connection time. We're going to have some special um, worship experiences for the South on the Friday nights of both weeks. Right. So this coming Friday night, December the 23rd, we're going to be having a special kind of family devotional style worship service um, in the auditorium at 7 p.m. And uh, so we want you to be there. The kids can be there. We're going to make it just a, a great time for everybody, just welcoming the birth of Jesus. Yes. Um, and then the following Friday night, December the 30th, um, we will be meeting at 6.30 p.m. up in the Fellowship Hall. It's a potluck. You can bring some food. We're all going to eat together, hang out together, um, and kind of get ourselves set as the South to head into the new year. Yeah. So I'm excited about that as well. So they won't look like traditional church services, but it'll be a great family time for all of us together. Amen. Uh, so 7 p.m. this Friday, 6.30 p.m. the following Friday. On the weekly wave, there are signups, RSVPs, so that you can let us know who's coming, how many people we can expect for chairs, all that kind of thing. And for the potluck, you can sign up for what to bring. Exactly. All right. So that's it for this week's practice video. Uh, we love you guys very much. And we're really excited um, about what God is going to do in 2023. Uh, so look forward to seeing you on Friday. Bye.